Hey everybody and welcome to Our Green Acres. I'm Teresa. Today's video is going to be um, a fun little collab that I'm doing with one of my friends, Holly, over at Hot Humble Pie. So if you're not familiar with her channel yet, after this video, I'm going to have a link to all of her um, information down in the description box. Make sure to go over and check out Holly's channel. Her channel is awesome. I was watching her channel way back before I ever even met her and become friends with her. So I'm honored to get to collab and do this video with her. She's got a lot, of, she's got a really fun personality, very sweet, and she does some incredible DIYs. Her technique that I love to watch is she's got a knack for painting and she can throw some colors together and just, and some people can do that. They can paint and be real creative and that's where their talent is. And I tell you what, Holly has got the paint talent. So y'all make sure to go over, check out her channel, tell her I sent you over, subscribe, like, and watch her videos because you won't be disappointed. I'm um, also um, thrilled to be able to, to give back to y'all. Uh, totally dazzled. They reached out and asked if I wanted to do a $25 gift card giveaway to my viewers. And I'm like, yes. So I'm going to get to offer y'all a $25 gift card um, the, to, to enter the contest. It's going to be easy. I'll have all the um, information down in the description box. But basically, you got to do three things. Watch my video. Like my video. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you go over and subscribe to Totally Dazzled. But like I say, go check the information out in my description box. And I will run the giveaway for, for one week from when this video goes up. And I will have the deadline of when the, when the giveaway ends. I'll have that date down in the description box. And um, before I get on with the video, I think I have met my youngest viewer. A mom sent in a photo the other day of her little girl watching my videos. And she says she absolutely, her little girl absolutely loved to watch my videos. So Riley, this is for you. You just keep on watching. I love you, Riley. You are a little sweetheart. Her mom says she's, uh, I think she's a year and a half old. So Riley, you may be my youngest viewer, but I'm, I'm sure you're going to grow up to be a little embellisher, love pearls, and all kinds of bling. So bless your little heart. So this is going to go out to Riley today. The video today, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how to make this awesome tray. And I got the inspiration off of the graphics fairy. And there's a blogger on there. Her name is Diana. And um, the Dreams Factory is the name of, um, of her blog. But all the instructions are written down step by step over on the Graphics Fairy. And I'll have all that inf information down below if y'all want to go over and read more detailed information about how to make this. But that's what inspired me to make it. And I saw her instructions and I thought, I have to make that because I had the scrap wood. And then I'm also going to show y'all how I have flipped a few little thrift store items in the video. And also, you'll see these in the video. And I've got a previous video that I've already done on how to make these. So, y'all, I'm going to get on with the video. I hope y'all enjoy it and I hope y'all get some inspiration from it. And remember, y'all, two words. Love everybody. Thanks, y'all. Okay, the first thing you'll want to do is go and print out your free printable off of the Graphics Fairy. And then that way it'll show you, kind of be a guide 
once you get it centered on the board of where you want to put uh, the two side boards. And I'm going to go in half an inch from each, um, from each side, and that gives me enough space for my graphic. And, um, and also, and I didn't do this, but you may want to go on and cut your graphic down if you have a lot of white paper. I cut mine down and cut as much of the white paper off as I could, but um, I still think half an inch from the side worked out fine after I cut my printable down because the, the further in you carry the sideboards, the less space you're going to have on the tray. So I just um, did a half an inch mark on each board and then I drew me a straight line. And that gave me a good guide of where I'll need to glue down these, these boards. And just add a generous amount of wood glue. And I'm not going to show in the video, but I did put some heavy cans out of my pantry uh, once I got these glued down just to add a little bit of weight to it uh, just until the glue got dry. Okay, now we're going to use the craft um, paint, and you can use any color brown that you want, and we're going to add some water to it and highly dilute it to make a stain. Now, um, the reason we're making a stain is because this wood is very light colored, so once we put the white paint on it, we need a good darker base on it, so when we distress it, that'll uh, come through, and we'll have a good color up underneath to distress. So I'm just going to apply the diluted craft paint uh, with a with a rag and this works out great whoever thought of this um, craft paint uh, as a stain was a genius because it's not messy and it washes out really well because when you use stain you know stain it gets all over your hands and it won't wash off and it gets in your brush or your rag and you usually have to clean it or throw it away I, I love the craft paint um, method so basically I just stained it all over and now I'm taking the candle and you saw this in my previous video when I did the garden trellis. You just rub that candle wax all over the areas that you want to distress once you apply your paint. And I, I pretty much just went over the whole board, especially get around the edges and the cracks. Uh, and it'll, it'll, it's so, it makes it so much easier when you go to lift that paint off with your sandpaper or a little scraper. So now I'm just painting it with the white linen but you can paint it any color you want to. You could even have left it stained if you wanted to. So that's totally optional up to you of you know, what color you want it. And here is where I trimmed um, up some of the white off the graphic. And I went outside and sprayed the Gorilla uh, spray adhesive on it. You could also right here use Mod Podge to apply your graphic. And um, once I got it centered on my tray, I just went over it and now I'm sanding it because basically you want to kind of sand it down into that wood and make it look like it's in, in the wood and not just, you know, glued on. So you just kind of want to make it look as distressed on the board as you can. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just sanding over it and um, just bringing out a lot of the, um, and just giving it that distressed look mainly. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, please go over and follow me at Our Green Anchors. I also want to add, once the tray is completed, it's recommended that you spray it with a clear sealant to protect it. The drawer pulls that I'm going to use on my tray I acquired at a yard sale a couple of years ago, and I never had used them, but they worked out perfect for this tray. I didn't have to paint them or do anything to them, so I finally got to use them. And I want to point out that I hot glued them onto the tray, but I will go back and put them on um, better. And, you know, suggestions of putting them on, you can do them different ways. You can use screws and put it um, screws through the wood. You can use some E6000 or I'm sure you can use super glue. But just to show you how I lined them up on the tray, I used a ruler and then I used a yardstick to so they would both be straight on both sides.
please go over and join me on Facebook at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. I want to give a shout out to Sandy, Linda, Neves, Shauna, Diane, and a big welcome to Savvy. Okay, so DIY number three is going to be, we're going to upcycle a jewelry holder. And I purchased this at a thrift store, I think for 50 cents or a dollar. And I think it's a jewelry holder, I'm not sure. Um, the tip of that little stand that you'll see, um, there's two holes in it. And um, so I'm not sure. There probably was like a little ring through it at one time. And I got to thinking after um, watching this, I could probably get like a little wire shower curtain ring and put it through those two holes, paint it, and, um, and just add that back. But if y'all know what this is and it's not a jewelry holder, please leave me a comment. Let me know if you recognize it and it's something else. Um, but it did, it already had a nice gray base. So I just applied the same technique of the candle wax on top of that gray. And then I used some spray paint. And now I'm just using a little scraper and just, you know, scraping off, distressing in the areas that are raised just to give it that more distressed look. And when you add that candle wax, it really helps to lift your paint off very easily. Okay, DIY number four in the last um, project for this video is going to be this little wooden rooster. I love him. And I also purchased him at a thrift store um, probably a couple years ago. And I just had him um, in my stash and never had done anything with him. So I pulled him out and I'm doing the same technique, the candle wax, the chalk paint. And I'm going to give him a little distressed look and give him a bow. And he's going to be so cute paired with our tray that we made.
Okay, y'all, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to go down in the description box and enter the contest to win the $25 gift card giveaway. And also, don't forget to go over and visit Holly at Hot Humble Pie. And I'll see y'all in the next video.